I hope you're enjoying reading through the book of Acts, or at least enjoying these daily videos and verse reflections. The book of Acts, to me, is one of the most exciting books to read in the Bible. And in Acts chapter 16, we have a very especially important moment where Paul and his team, they're thinking they should be going into Bithynia and bringing the gospel there. And then Paul has a vision of a man of Macedonia saying, come over and help us. So they immediately shift gears completely and head to Macedonia and they go to Thyatira. And that's where in Acts 16 verse 14 we hear this. A certain woman named Lydia, a worshiper of God, was listening to us. She was from the city of Thyatira and a dealer in purple cloth. The Lord opened her heart to listen eagerly to what was said by Paul. Lydia is one of the significant early church women leaders that we're going to meet in the next couple days in the book of Acts. And what's fascinating to me about this particular story in Acts chapter 16 is that Paul has a vision of a man from Macedonia saying, come over and help us. And yet, who does the Spirit lead him to? I don't think Paul envisioned initially that his companion and host would be a woman business person. And in a similar way, uh, we're living in a time of radical change because of the pandemic, and we're having to rethink ministry in a significant way. And how do we bring our ministry online, and how do we do ministry virtually and digitally when we can't do it in the same way that we've done in person. And rather than looking at this period in which we're living and just kind of sitting there doing nothing and just saying, I can't wait till things get back to normal, maybe it's a time when, like with Paul and his team, we need to be open to the Spirit guiding us to act and live and work and relate in new and different ways. I'd encourage you, whatever your work, whatever your business, if you're retired, rather than sitting and hoping that things are going to get back to normal, I invite you to be praying and inviting the Holy Spirit to show you what are the new ways you're calling me to live and work and relate and love and grow and share in these days in which we find ourselves.